Coming soon to PlayStation, Xbox, and PC is Dead Island 2. This is the follow-up to Dead Island, and it takes place 10 years after Dead Island Riptide, so it's also the third overall installment in the Dead Island franchise. The main difference in this one is that the uh, game takes place in Los Angeles, uh, and it was quarantined there due to a zombie outbreak. Now, also, my uh, my good co-host Jason did mention that Dead Island Riptide was a DLC and more of an expansion, which I do agree. It did seem more like a DLC uh, and an expansion, um, but I guess it is considered a standalone DLC. Uh, so overall, it is considered a separate installment in the franchise. Also, I was going through and reading about the various issues that there has been for developing this game since uh, in like 2012, uh, the game has been in production and in 2014, the development uh, hell kind of started where basically the original developers of Dead and one Techland moved on to uh, try to make uh, Dying Light 2, or I'm sorry, Dying Light 1 with Warner Bros. Entertainment. And so overall, that then moved it over to various different companies until finally it's landed on Dam Buster. Now, Dam Buster apparently did Homefront, and Homefront is a series that I personally am not much of a fan of, but I know a lot of people, I believe, did like that game. Uh, but the game, uh, or this gaming company, or gaming development company, has only actually had two games prior to this, which does make me a little bit nervous however all the trailers for this game look pretty solid overall there's supposed to be an increase on the specificity and uh, specificity as well as the overall gore and just a uh, way that uh, zombies are dismembered uh, so I'm definitely interested to see what they're on about with that one and overall it'll be interesting to see the various ways that the up uh, the gameplay or story overall Dead Island 1 was very unique and it really put pushed forward at zombie games and these more absurd zombie games that were just kind of fun and so I'm really interested to see what they can do for this one to make it stand out. On top of that of course the customization from Dead Island 1 was fantastic and so I'm interested to see if there's any expansions on the way that uh, that the crafting system will work because combining just random shit and seeing how it fucks stuff up is always a fun experience. I think the fact that it's in Los Angeles is going to be interesting because you then should have a pretty decently sized map that you can go through and really fuck shit up and really see the outbreak of the zombie apocalypse. However, of course, it being called Dead Island makes that a little weird to take it to just a city. And a lot of the times when things go through pro production hell, whether it be fucking movies, video games, albums, whatever it is, usually it doesn't hold up to the hype. And that's because you have these games that are, you know, expected for so long that when they do finally come out people were expecting a much better product but overall I my hopes are pretty high with this game I was definitely someone who enjoyed the first Dead Island and thought it was a pretty unique game for its time and so I'm definitely intrigued to see what they were able to do like I said earlier so I'll definitely be giving this a try myself once it comes out and what do you guys think do you guys think this is gonna be a good increase on the previous game and that they'll be able to up the overall quality or do you think it's gonna be kind of like a shame Gameless game that probably, you know, went through production hell and therefore couldn't get out a good game. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, let us uh, know any other games that you know that are coming out soon that you'd like us to talk about or anything that's come out that you'd like us to review or react to uh, or play, especially if it's on PlayStation Plus or on Xbox Game Pass. We have pretty immediate access to that. Also, if you do enjoy movies and music, we have Smoke and Sessions, a channel where we review stuff as well as talk about movies that are coming out soon and any other uh, essays that we really feel like getting out there so you can give us a follow over there uh, for more content like that in regards to movies as well as like and subscribe here for more content like this in the future all right guys thank you for joining me during this game in session